Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. It has been a while since the last time I uploaded a video. Well, I was pretty much busy with stuff. And by the way, if you guys have followed my latest video, you guys may notice that I was losing Linux and will have changed to Windows right now and there are several things that I need to set up. And this is one of the reasons why I didn't upload videos recently. Anyway, I'm still working on the next dev vlog recently, I'm modeling the second character of the game so be sure to subscribe and hit the notification button so you guys don't miss any future videos. And if you guys are new to here, consider to watch my latest video vlog, I put the link in the description and somewhere on top of this video. Alright, today I will show you a quick crash course on how to animate in Krita and as you can see this is the outcome of the whole processes and workflows in this video. I'm actually using this animation for the subscribe tagline button for my future videos. Anyway, let's begin with the quick introduction on how to animate in Krita. Alright, first of all you need to change your workspace to animation by clicking this button over here and then select animation. Then go to settings, dockers, and then check on the onion skins. I will explain what these tools will do later. Now I like to change my workspace layout a bit and of course you guys can change however you want. Okay, now there are several dockers that are good to know before we animate in Krita. So first we have the animation docker, this docker will provide tools such as playing your animation, skipping frames, adding new frames, adding duplicate frames, setting up, start and end frames, and etc. The second docker is the timeline docker which is where your keyframes will lay and you will work with this docker quite often. And then the last is the onion skin docker. This docker provides tools to change the behavior of the onion skin on your layers. You will see what it actually means and how it works in a second. Okay, let's start with the simple animation. I set start frame to 0 and the end frame to 10. Select a layer you want to trial on and then create a new blank frame by right clicking on the timeline or by pressing this button on the animation docker. Okay, let's add a new blank frame for the next keyframe. Now you will notice that the preview of the last frame is gone. This is where the onion skins come very handy. Toggle on the onion skin on the layer by pressing this little light bulb icon. Now you can see the preview of the last frame. You can also control what last or next frame to view on onion skin by adjusting the controls on the onion skin docker. And that's it, that is how you animate in Krita. Now let's start creating a bit of interesting animation. Okay, my workflow is pretty much common. I start with rough sketch and then tidy up with line art later on. This process will pretty much the same as the introduction that I showed before, so it basically depends on what you will draw for your animation. So if you are already familiar with tools to draw in Krita, then you are good to go to create your animation. Okay, I will leave you guys with the thumb lips and come back when it finished.
you can export your animation by going to file, render animation, and you can select between image sequence, video, or both of them. Notice that you need FFMPG installed in your system, I'll put the link where to download and how to install them in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more content like this and until then, see you next time.